Tommy, TBJ, John Paul, Miami, and it's time now for Bob Weaver and the Weather. Tuesday, June 7, 1977. Good afternoon, everybody, and good evening, everybody. I'm Bob Weaver. Here's the weather. Here, current conditions at 5 minutes to 6 o'clock. It's 88 degrees in Miami and it's Miami. It's 85 in Key West, 91 in Port Lauderdale, 92 in West Palm Beach, and in Melbourne, 88 in Melbourne, 92 in Vero Beach, 84 in out in Tassville, it is 86 in Sanford, 86 in Orlando, 86 in Tampa, 89 in St. Petersburg, 84 in Clearwater, it is 83 out in Daytona Beach, it's 85 out in Gainesville, it's 84 in Jacksonville, 85 out in Tallahassee, 88 in Panama City, 87 in Fort Walton Beach, and it's 87 out in Pensacola. Alright, let's take a look at the map situation here. It's high pressure here. Situated from New Mexico and Napa, Kentucky, and low pressure in North Dakota and Oregon. And it was cool for much. And two. There's a cool pressure from Canada, but cool weather to the Great Plains also brought cool weather to the Great Lakes. And it was raining in much of New England there with a low pressure off the New England coastline here. And a station front from the Great Lakes stretching it down to down to Texas from the Nova Rockies down to Texas. And station front down for Central Florida not to see. And low pressure in Northern California, North Dakota, and off the New England coastline here. So far, forecast for today and tomorrow. Part cloudy with scattered thunderstorms, highs in the upper 80s. Tomorrow, low tonight, 70s. And far extended forecast. The extended not look for Florida will be Thursday for Saturday. Fair weather in the north and chance of scattered thunderstorms in the central and south. Low in it. 60s and enough to the 70s and stuff, and as the 80s to low 90s. In sunset, 810. And for boating, for Dan and Brown waters, where the what's really winds ran? 50 knots and T's 3 to 4 feet. Bay waters will have a light chop. Find waters, southwest winds about 15 knots and T's 3 to 5 feet. And Bay waters will have a smooth light chop. And for eastern Gulf of Mexico, northeast wind, these winds about 10 to 15 knots and T's less than 4 feet and widely scattered showers. And that is going to be it for the weather and weather on this June 7th, 1977. I'm Bob Weaver. So you have a good evening. And come next in a few minutes will be the Ralph Rennick Report on WTVJ Channel 4 Miami. Hey, what's up, Morris? What's up? Bob Weaver for a response to a medley of tea time and gladiators. Uh, morning, noon, and night airline in the air. Non-stop to all three. New York Airport says you can see there's a National Airlines flight waiting to take you to New York at any time of the day. Flights in the morning include the first non-stop of the day. Flights midday and flights in the evening just decide when you're going and then there's be a National Airlines flight waiting. If the flight you choose is one of your super comfortable wide cabin DC-10, you'll see a full length moving in every cabin. You'll also find non-stop night coaches after 10 p.m. to all the three New York airports and take one of these flights and you'll save 20% over the regular day coach fare. National Airlines flight will... Uh, our spacious syndrome terminal at Kennedy as well as LaGuardia and Newark, but no matter what flight you choose, National Airlines has complimentary champagne and coach as well as first class. For reservations, call your travel agent or National Airlines in Miami, call 874-5000. In Fort Lauderdale and Hollywood, call 4626-600. And National Airlines. <sighs> Ten, ten delightful minutes out of the town costs. Here's all the costs. Ranging from $2.31 in Atlanta to $2.37 in Los Angeles and $2.44 from Dallas, Kansas City, Denver, Chicago, and New York. These low rates are for calls. Down to dial direct from Florida after 5 p.m. in each initial minute costs about 25 cents. The cost drops at $1.58 plus tax for 10 minutes and to Los Angeles you dial direct between 11 p.m. and 8 a.m. In this, a dollar fifty-eight cents applies all weekend until five p.m. and Sunday for the details and other types of calls. See you directly. The cost along this is as modest by what it buys it passes. Summer Bell. Great choice. Nissan. Innovation that excites. Shop at ChooseNissan.com. This is WTVJ TV Channel Four Miami. The time is six o'clock.
WTBJ Miami, South Florida's largest daily circulation. The Drought Reddit Report. With Bob Mayer, Harry K. Smith in Fort Lauderdale, and... Well, good evening, everybody. I'm Ralph Brennan, and here's what's happening on this Tuesday, June 7th, 1977. Today, voters go to the polls today to decide whether to retain or repeal the county's homosexual ordinance. Polls open at 7 a.m. and will close at 7 p.m. As voters registered as of April 23rd and eligible to carry lots. Voters who carry their reservation cards them to the polls will be presented more rapidly. Each polling location will have the signatures on file compared with those of voters as they appear. A vote for this to appeal the ordinance and against it to keep it in effect. In addition to casting votes on homosexual rights laws, Miami Beach voters will have to ask whether to the city should mean state rent control. But the 3rd District Court of Appeals yesterday held off a circuit court ruling on Friday, which took the off the ballot because of a new state law prohibited most rent control took effect on May 21st. A similar rent control question was on the special election ballot on March 8th, but it was taken after a judge ruled that it shouldn't have gone voters out until May 19th and 60 days after referendum signatures were certified. If that's the case, all rent question was put on a ballot with a question to save money. Two other countrywide questions are on that. Today, when asked voters that they want Metro and police to file outside employment reports yearly in states monthly, and then we're asking the votes to do or delete the um, metropolitan court system, which no longer exists from the Metro Charter. If Miami Beach the ballot asked voters to approve a $4.2 million in a public house of bonds, and then Miami Beach for voters are asked if they want to a uh, current bid regulation for the purchase of the city permit and the uh, city council to grant new bidding regulations. City Miami voters are asked to describe whether they want the city to spend $15 million for this yeah. orange bowl. So if you got time, go to your nearest poll and try to vote because you got 58 minutes left. There, Councilor Red and Pavel Jose, seven years old, has improved so much since he began taking the natural three weeks ago that he left Miami for Jamaica yesterday to begin formal treatment with a drug that is outlawed in the United States. Jim Brosmer has a report. Pavel deserves better chance than what the doctors here have given him. He deserves a better chance than what I've given him, said his mother, Mari Ozzy, before flying from Miami International Airport with her son for Jamaica, where he will be. Receive lateral treatments at the Jamaica Medical Center. There have been some of the new everyday he's been on. Lateral, Mrs. Ozzy said he's getting strong. He can sit up now, eat by himself. He's very alert and talks to things everyone. He even kicked his doctor the order that when he in his monthly neurology check. Mrs. Arza said there was strength in his leg muscle now, but there is none three weeks ago. The gamble on Latrill was by the Arzis will live in the highly in this last line of defense as it Pebbles battle against brain cancer. Three years ago, there was a one in four degree fever that wouldn't break and X-ray showed pressures on the brain caused by an inoperable tumor. Five operations to relive that the pressure were followed by the discovery of other tumors that is time in his mind. Three weeks ago, the doctors at Friday Children's Hospital told Mrs. Arza to talk his Send home to die, and they said, Go home and make him as comfortable as possible. I was very hostile, was very hurt, she said. That was the day Mrs. Arzay told her husband, Chris, I am going to find out about this stuff. And natural said, And I'm going to start giving it to him. And she said, At the cost of $200, we are. She does get the natural, she won't say, I've been doing my own research and I think to improve. But I feel I'm just doing. Not doing things correctly. I know the diet and the vitamins and minerals and it's just as important as the medication, but there's no one here to sell me. That's why we're going into Jamaica. It's the same old things with the doctors here. They don't believe in it. The doctor who is giving Pavel chemotherapy won't give it to him because he's been on low trouble because he says he knows nothing about the side effects. Pavel's neurologist, according to Mrs. Arce, says he sees an improvement in the Pablo and has been given a mother Pablo's medical records to take to refer to Jamaica. He said he doesn't believe in it, Lateral, but if Pablo ever gets well enough to get out of the wheelchair and walk, but he'll take him around the hospital himself and show everyone. Jim Brosmer, WTVJ News. A big triangle bomb around the section man at 50 foot cook. Pine Tell, check plaza, what kind of tour to give his tram passengers in first child tropical garden. Channel 4's. Tell Frank get a sport. I watch the people in my rear view mirror when I tell them about the triangle palm. He laughs. If they sit with arms folded and don't lean on to the look, then I know I'll be taking them myself all the way around. So I tell them about the showy plants, the telephone and jokes, but I'm, they look up at the palm and find, and I give them my best. Lots of detail. I know that I got 
So here's plant people on board. Eleven years ago, Black Dell was a manufacturer's representative in that Chicago's high pressure business world. Working toward a wealthy future. That year, I decided not to continue in that that place. I might be wealthy, but I did. He retired at 48 and moved to Miami. He was a businessman, not a botanist or gardener, or particularly interested in plants, but I did like nature. Looking around for something to do to the field time, he said a little ad in the newspaper, then that's how he became that tram guy to the Fairchild, an 83 acre research and educational botanical garden off Old Cutler Road. That's their plan to take the job just a year, and by the time when I fell more and more, and then loving it when I went the garden, I forgot about leaving. There's so much to see here. 11 years and 16,000 tours later, I always find somebody new, something that I didn't see before. The place changed it all the time. That's when the 45-year-old petticoat palm, one of the first planted in the wind that's gotten was created, and the bisexual fish tail palm just like to hear about that. And I tell the old people that the people were created in 1938 before they were born. They like that. I encourage people and I'm familiar with it. The that ask questions. They ask, well, you know, when often asked things like, how do we get this man on the royal palms, but nobody knows everything about the plants. Fitters sometimes ask myself questions they can't answer, and when it happens, I find out why the answer and tell them before they leave. When they even get into the tram and telling people about the garden, he knew a little about himself. Blaisdell said he was nervous at first, but I read and studied it came to love it. You have to be a very good actor because this stuff. Serious garden known all over the world. You never finish learning. He drives into the tram seven minutes to seven forty minute tours a day on weekdays. Seven hours to oh, a guy's a week as he enjoys the school tours that he takes place in the mornings. I happen to love children and I give them a tour they can learn something from it. Yeah. So that's from all the day schools and other schools in South Florida counties have been seeing Fairchild Garden fight the eyes and the perception of Chuck Blasdale. People write him letters of appreciation and he in pen pals from many countries once he's located along Lost Cousin while talking with visitors to the garden we happen to live in the same small town. So like Delphine, WTVJ News. It's, it's, it's why I never think about when I'm in the club. School officials last night agreed to change the boundary between the two self-state elementary schools after PTA members at one building claimed that it exists in the final line of the racial imbalance. Bob Bear has a report. On a new plan, which must go to the public hearing and then the school board for final approval, Richmond Elementary School, 6929 Southwest 48th, the 14th Avenue, whatever. 58% black student population came paid to 79% now. Also, on a new plan, Pine Lake Elementary School, which opens in September on Southwest 49th Avenue, we would have a 26%. Black student population compared to a 79% now. Also, under the new plan, Pine Lake Elementary School, which opens in September on Southwest 100 Avenue, would be a 26% block. That existing plan would have given an 11% black student body with 26% black. Richmond PTA members met with deputy school superintendent Lander Britton and South Area superintendents. Don Burroughs in the school small library less than one three earlier occasions. Burroughs had rejected the PTA proposal to use a straight line boundary along Southwest 104th Avenue between Whitman and Pine Lake. Barrows offered a compromise which Richmond parents believed that was entered by Britain and would employ Southwest 1 and 5th Squirt as an east west divider between the two schools. If it's Barrows figured how old up, it's a compromise we can live it with, said Dr. Hurd Prospell, Richmond PTA president, and in addition to racial imbalance charges over a credit enough, Richmond has been raised by school parents. As a further proof of change in existing boundaries was needed, this year class has been held in a library and cafeteria because of lack of space. The school was built for 600 students and enrollment this year 660. Under Burroughs plan, Richmond would have house 526 answers next year, while Pine Lake would have 754 students, 150 below capacity. Below capacity enrollment at both schools is a lot far. Further, Jaguar Burroughs said that two schools are only three tenths of a mile apart, but the situation on the opposite side of the Richmond Drive. Southwest 168 Street and residents at the area refer to the Richmond Drive as it attracts, and family south of the street are predominantly black, there, so the north are mostly white. Britain told the nearby two dozen parents that they meet in at a public hearing on Burroughs' proposal would have to be no later than early next week. He said that the parents could be placed on the school board agenda for June 29th. At the public hearing, with which no location and data has been announced, opposition but a compromise is expected by members of the Colonial Drive Citizens Association. On the 16th, boundaries, children are living in an area just south of Colonial Drive, southwest 160th Street, with a 10 pine lake. On the Burroughs plan, there is children in the 10 Witchmen. We've been meeting with a group before, said Richmond parent Bufart. We can expect them to scream loud as long as their success. Bomb Air WTVJ News. Pat Tunnell is accepted as solidified as position as executive vice president. The United Teachers are dated by seeking disciplinary action against the Senate members who are trying to change the union referendum and procedures which force him to give up his $19,001 pay increase. A meeting of Union 340 member council of representatives has been asking me Thursday to reformally rescind the pay hack. But Tramil had said yesterday that the council would also have to ask to appoint a task force to decide what union business can be decided by his membership and what should be left solely to the council. 
He also said the woman is taking him wait to punish union members of what make private union business public. Change it in all construction, contract verification, and any change in all union dues structure should be voted on for by the members by the questions of the salaries for the elected officials at UTD and employees are now. Management and membership to decide. Trinil said, you can't have the membership board on every issue that comes up. It could be linked to an anarchy and undermine that the very essence of representative democracy, he said. After the council voted to increase Trinil's announced salary to 52000 what and from 33000 was we a successful petition draft but the manner and union ripper and about 91 teachers resigned from the union over the pay raise and the council's endorsement of Metro Homosexuals Rights Organizations. Subsequently, Trinil announced that he would forego the pay increase the expected move which some see a sign that he may have lost his tax grip on the 12,000 member union. They own that Alvin Air. Fought three years preserved will become time of the nine this morning. Bulldozers will tear away the house at 562nd Street, the last barrier to touch of the Edison High School. Aaron, the fast little retired carpenter who said the abode will redeem the blood of Christ, does not brand what tree of could sacrilege. He died AJ to a cancel last November. Aaron, despite his first fight to preserve house, was only attended there. It was actually by his brother called Who Lives in Cincinnati. It was called Who Fought by Army Lawyer. Gave the county bridge to tear it down, and it's called Who Get the Purchase by $11,400, which the county had offered during the condemnation proceedings. And brother Albert always refused the money off of the same public has been heathen since prayers were banned by the Supreme Court in 1962. That was the about for traffic as a parking lot planned for the school. Aaron's who has been a mate in frugal door, our jobs for the neighbors that consistent to have nowhere else to go. All the county relocated, but the public housing project Fox Bay at a low rent. A David offered to move the whole built. My angel mother is saved to another local one in the neighborhood of last year's circuit church. Seaver told the Aaron Aaron's that he could remain at the house for another 13 months. He had six months of great left when he was admitted to the Federal Administration Hospital. To be a horse that hasn't done it in 36 years to be able to do it. And you love the stories you guys have been doing it all day long. The Carter administration in Washington and a reversal of the Ford administration position has determined and legal for the government to withhold funds from school districts that refuse to merge black and white schools. Normally in a merger of two or more schools, called parents, a cluster would require a limited amount of busted. Attorney General Griffin Bell will be issued a memorandum of the request of the Joseph Califato, the Secretary of Health and Education and Welfare, H.E.W., to which the new policy is stated. President Memorial and the Administration's Civil Rights Policy said H.E.W. is planned to enforce a new interpretation of the law by rejecting the desegregation by the most of March by the School Board of Kansas City, Missouri, under the Kansas City Plan by the schools will be largely largely segregated. So as it is the government said that the administration was keeping quiet about this new policy for a time being in the fear that policy would lead to the legislature that would block the policy. A nation of 1985 laws sponsored by the Senator Robert Byrd, Democrat of West Virginia, the privilege of HGW from using funds of school, funds of school district to transport students beyond to school closer to the home to the of the popular Lord proper circuit. The Ford administration ruled that the law prohibited parent and clustering in schools, which are common methods of desegregation used in communities across the country. Parent has been used in many communities in which two neighboring schools, one mostly black and the mostly white, are reasonably near one another. Is that the both schools offer very assistance? King Gone for sixth grade to their schools are merged when one school offers kindergarten for at the third grade that ever provides the fourth, fifth, and sixth grades. Clustering in the similar range in which several schools are merged in each other different grade levels. Because of the terror fleet, Require people to attend school part of the time outside of the media the neighborhood is usually the best way to play business. Now, according to the sources, the governor for, tell the Kansas City School Board that then it must be a revised desegregation plan using a technique the school board there and their intense pressure from the federal government to reduce the segregation adopt a plan which would allow about three schools to remain virtually all. By a sport they normally don't pay much attention. The but place that the little to the like HGW will come up for a review this year. Sources that the Congress said that Senator Thomas Eagle to Democrat Missouri as a member of the Appropriations Committee so as a jurisdiction of the legislature tried to strengthen the amendment this year by a parent cluster with special IB outlawed. Washington, the current administration will call today for the ending of parole for federal convicts of the aid of Attorney General Griffin Bell has reported. No Beyond appearance before a Senate Judiciary Committee, the committee will back its proposal that federal prisoners be sentenced for fixed term medicated only by a time off for good behavior, the aide said. The Attorney General testified and proposed ratification of federal criminal laws introduced by Senator John McClellan, Democrat of Arkansas, and Senator Andrew Kennedy. Democrat messages that call for the firm sentences guidelines for crimes in a way to eliminate and greatly reduce the disparities among the prisoners and convicted of similar offenses. Kennedy and Gordon and Nate will urge a graduate into the system, and Bell told the expect question about the subject to an outline disposition that his aide said. 
Can any argue that the existing parole system is subject to great abuse and that the parole boards have shown what they are unable to judge rehabilitation and predict out? A released prisoner will behave in society. Fixed sentences, they say, will have be fairer to the prisoner and to the public. They also have fixed sentences without parole may be the first step to the particular effort towards a program of deterring crime. Adoption of such a system would be dependent on the enactment of the criminal court reform. Sentence and reform could be split off from the rest of the bill, however, and the concept of giving them fixed strict notice of how long they will be in prison by implementing a state criminal justice system that may in Illinois and California. That change would not apply to the 29,606 prisoners now in federal custody. Under the bill, sentence and provisions would be unchanged for the two years while committees of judges develop and recommended sentences that can certain factors like the age and previous record of defendants. Federal prisoners sentenced to the terms of more than one year are now eligible for parole after serve one third of their time. When at parole, federal prisoners can have their sentences reduced by one third as a time off their good behavior. Top Metro officials have a recommended veteran school board member Bill Turner as a man to explain the country's transportation program in the country. Out of county, particularly rapid transit plants and mental health officials and infected citizens, he can go to places and be accepted where it can be a higher bureaucrat that Metro Transportation Coordinator John Dyer, a citizen county manager. Doing that, said a man of Turner's extensive legislature experience will be invaluable in the talking to the politicians in the town where the transit system will be built up to the Metro Commission and name its transit lobbyists will get $25. $1,520 a year. If you have directed a company for 40 years, win a book and hard heart surgery and it's 74 years old, it's time to sell it that, right? Wrong. James Allen is set to graduate with a plus and an seven surgery from the Fully International University. In English major, England has driven 64 miles round trip to the campus from this Hollywood apartment without missing a class except when his wife died. If I you will, I honor its oldest graduate. In exercise, the Saturday at Miami Beach Convention Center, I want to say involvement in the academic world. Eggman said. Owners of Dade County's four fifty thousand dogs and cats will be able to buy licenses for the pets from the members of the South Florida Veteran and Medical Association. They can get the certificates from vets, but let the mail and carry them to county up to obtain the tax. They bet said yesterday the issue of licenses involved too much expense and paperwork. We plan to start a look, showing the licenses by mail anyway. Said. County Bookshop assistant to the county manager. Much bomb expert Tom Brody has lost his 14 year fight to be restated as a police captain. Brody gave up his officer's rank in 1963 and accepted the title of criminalist as second. He quickly changed his mind, but he told the paperwork and gone fat. Personal advisory board recommended the county manager merits time to be promoted to captain, but the manager told personal director Ashton Tyler to remake men in a new salary for Brody that would fall between that of a lieutenant and captain. His pay now is for. Based at $20,944, but he has extras included of $50 each for two weeks for his hazard duty makes a total of $27,739 and much better, Captain. The gentleman died, Metro Officer Willie Golden will soon be back on active duty. County Manager Stan Winfrey is fired by Public Safety Director Wilson Purdy and suspended with breath. For six months without pay, for recommended by a hearing examiner. Since the 25 pound, six foot nine officer was dismissed, 2019, he will be instated. Shortly, he was disciplined for trying to collect his regular pay while working an extra hour job in a uniform at Food Stamps Center. Vice Mayor Bill Hartman promised he will again try to fire city manager William Griffiths at tomorrow night's meeting of the city commission in the Ambala North, Derry County Town. Hartman notes he filed 44 complaints about Griffiths in 1985 for the same things that the Grand Jury complained about that the commission's design and declined to hear a public hearing that Grand Jury indicted Mayor Candido Gardino Commissioner Albert Trisman to replace Ben and contractor last week on Christmas charges made a strong report on alleged corruption in the city. Wickmacher Causeway, the man who was named for Captain Edward V. Wickmacher flew here for the dedication of $6 million spent to the key this game when opened in November 1947. Naturally, he flew by Eastern Airlines, the landing founded and built in one of the nation's premier air carriers, which is based in Miami. One of the nation's most revered heroes, Wickmacher fought in World War I in the canvas planes, Great Speedway autos, and survival crash on an EL plane, as well as days of drift in the Pacific when another plane was in crash to the sea during World War II. He died in a European visit back in 1973. Really? Jamaican Prime Minister Michael Manley ended the state emergency he declared a year ago after a wave of political criminal violence on the social scene in Ireland. Manley left sending it, however. The suppression of crimes have given the police wide powers of search and duress, and more than 500 persons were detained in special camps during an emergency in the recent months. The government has really saw about 17 of them. Manley's move came after a week after President Carter's wife Rosalind opened a Latin America tour with a visit to Kingston and a seven hour meeting with a Prime Minister. Manley has also announced he would visit Cuba June 23rd to hold informal talks with Fidel Castro.
So the Hazrat Benman students were demonstrated against the United States at the two rallies in Panama City yesterday. They replaced the U.S. flag with a Panama flag and stopped a canal company trained by line across the railroad tracks. The U.S. and state spokesman said all forties had expected some kind of demonstration since yesterday was an anniversary of the death of the Panama in 1966. A circuit court judge claiming Florida's gun control laws are too inflexible said a state attorney was too diligent in prosecuting two juvenile burglars in West Melbourne. Judge Buddy Williams placed the boys 8, 12, and 15 saying if you're a accused to be an assistant state attorney for 22 years ago, you can probably get some out of grand juries to deny Jesus Christ. State attorney Douglas Cheshire said he did holding the boys without bond is a part of the new policy to treat youthful offenders in a state. Under the state time failing law, the purpose could have been sentenced for a maximum of three years minimum and a maximum life in prison if convicted of armed robbery. <laughs> After two streaming nights of fighting, Bernard and Lord in the Chicago Hispanic neighborhood that complains of the powerless <laughs> city and community leaders worked yesterday to cool the tensions that fled the rioting. Over the weekend, the weather helped and temperatures dropping in the 60s after highs in the 90s. The trouble, which began Saturday at the Puerto Rican Day celebration in nearby Humboldt Park, set it on a half mile business trip three miles north west downtown. Bye. Yesterday, two men have been shot to death. At least 133 persons, including 37 sure policemen, were injured and 154 arrested. Well, hopefully, we can get him a good trip today and he can. 15 persons will remain hospitalized. And the Eastern Timberwolf off limits that hundreds of the past decade may be soon be targets for selected kills by game wardens in Minnesota. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service announced a proposal yesterday to remove the wolf from the endangered species list that be classified as a threatened species. Um, Convicted cop killer cannot be condemned to the death automatically by a state trying to give the police officers an extra layer of legal protection. The Supreme Court says that Supervisor but the firm court said in a 5 4 decision in New York such mandatory death sentence laws are unconstitutional, cruel, and unusual punishment because they prevent judges or jurors from considering particular circumstances of a case. Under the ruling, anyone convicted of murder and police officer could still be sentenced to die, but jurors can now also choose between capital punishment and life in prison for murder. Court administration and officials told the Congress yesterday that FBI's investigation of domestic security cases, including tourist activities, have dropped to 214 from 4,868 under the new bureau guidelines. At the same time, they wanted to prompt that guidelines from Congress on whether the FBI should continue such preventive investigation of limited investigation to itself to crimes already committed. All right, spots now on Tony Segreto. All right, thank you, Ralph. Uh, Randy Young calls his football career weird all the way around at Miami Carroll City High. Young played one on a 119. It was not funny. Young says before one game, the coach even threw all the seniors off of the team. At our street, Young again played on a losing team. It was ridiculous, says Young, for three years in a row, we went 4 7. Then we were drafted by Miami Dolphins. I was sick last year. I said, finally, I thought, wow, we're going to be changed around. Finally, I'm going to play on winning her. For a while, we did play the winner. Enough seen. It was an offensive tackle when was part of the Dolphins 6-0 preseason. It was a good, he says, to get that winning feeling then he released. Five games of the season, Young was signed by the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. The Bucks finished 0-14 and Young said he left like a loser again. So now I'm back in Miami. Young said yesterday at his parents' door for Miami house and hopefully I'm here in Miami to say. The Dolphins required Young last February in a trade with Tampa. When the Miami camp opens next month, Young will try to press Coach Dan Chul as an either tackle, center, or a guard, or maybe a combination above. But Young, the trade Miami was a surprise. A newspaper reporter from Tampa called me on February 4th. I will forget the date. Young said, the reporter said, Randy, what do you feel about what's happened? I said, about what? He said, oh, you're been traded. I said, what can I say? At first, I felt a little hurt. Says Young, then I looked at things a little closer to the felt proud to the one of me back. And also, I learned how to play the offensive line from Jim Langer, Larry Little, and Wayne Moore. So I can glad to come back and learn more. Young calls his experience at Tampa and a lot of frustration. There will be a lot of people wondering I might not be here tomorrow. There's no security, but at least it uh, gave me some experience in football. For football, I played it a lot better than I did. First, I learned it a lot. I really mean it. Chicago, I started something that Arthur Ash says now. I felt like I'm embarrassed that nobody spoke out before. Ash struck a nerve among the athletes, coaches, and educators with his pleas. Send your children to the libraries, which he expects less winter than New York Times. He feels children to teenagers, especially black kids in the inner core of the big city, spend too much time pursuing careers in a professional sports that is expensive. The future, as Ash said, no matter how talented and affiliated as there is, out. so many or so few jobs. He thinks Mr. Rick and Mr. Witchy calls a disease of a productive hobos, should cripples the minds of young black males and it prepares them for a stagnant life and fail, which the dreams and then there is more definite of it. Dreams are bad, he stresses northern sports, but young males, black and white, are bar sports heroes and fantasize about feeling it where. They get those shoes that Dr. Jade others wear. Big builds, well, filled builds up. I'm telling the boys, but for black kids, I should say that it winds up to be the only thing kids need to inspire. It's insidious, it thinks, because the odds are against success, but it 
Freelix. They're certainly talented. There are 3,107 positions available. Our poor team sports asset and that includes hockey, which most products don't play. Check out your odds and the numbers are against you. The tournament of basketball is small, 18 small. In 41, rookies in the NBA made it this season. 41 out of 5 or 6 million buck mills under the age 20. The cutoff point in high school, damn it. If you're not an all American high school, forget it. But they don't forget, and that says the obsession with making the big time company to mind the kids. In the Miami News, all counting golf team in the boys' first team, John Powell Gables finishes first with 37.2 points in the junior from Gables. Second team, Tom Lippin from Lakes finishes first with 30.2 points from the senior class. Scott Owen Madison, 3.5 in the third team from the senior class. And Pam Miller, South Dade, 29.0 in the girls' team. And coach you, Mark Schneider from South Dade. No, yeah, Joe Toy now that cheering. So Triple little piece of mine. Lock room at Shea Stadium. And said, he's my shrink. Rough looking, even tough looking, talking to Charles. Iron Beater, like Sal Magley, the kind of man who gets 5 o'clock shut out at 4 30. Man who spoke big black cigars like Louis Tiak. Pearson Man has that glow like those of Marlon Brando and Godfather poster that used to hang in a locker with the St. Louis Cardinals. The type who could play the hitman in the gangster movie had been cast last Tuesday as a brilliant eight manager in New York. Met. That's Joe Troy, the only player manager of the 26 teams of big leagues, and the only manager with a traveling shrink. The Reverend Joseph Despenza, the practical piece of the 36 year old Trey make the torturous transition from old baseball player to rookie manager of a torn last place team. 9.1 million bet on him. Stephen Ops says, Trey, explain, you don't have to concentrate on the palm of the hand. You don't tackle it while you're dwelling in the past. You close out the world. You create priorities. When you do something very specific like how to build a big game, you're last thinking about how oh, you strike out the last game you have to it's gone forever. Anyway, you don't think you're too far in the future. You focus on the present and above all. You don't worry about the people or things beyond your control. Why? Because they all beyond your control. Where do I get the from? Father Joe and he's my yoga exactly my psychologist, but my girl, he's my strength, even way that that's traveling part of the do master that the Mets is a strange gentleman but the seven men who pleased him in that uh, job during the last fifteen years yet drill really different from any one of them from Wesley and Wesel Casey Stangle down to a straight face straight lace Joe Frazier. Trey has a physical look to reboot, but the width and wisdom of a council and his upfront manner are all you did solve him and a wear sort of wear his lock both tough and warm in the words of Mary Wilson and the old officer classic. Trey got the way the hard way as a youngster with five children in the New York detective he was born and raised in an educated Brooklyn and bred to baseball in the Sandlots and long before Father Joe ended his fact with his mental outlook was being straight by frequent messages from his family is Sister, upon leaving the home, manager the convent as a sister, Mary Margaret, by giving him a baseball cover as your lift gift instead of rosy beads. Because I know you'll use this, but that's forever. Bring a first base for the market base. One joke that he would never get to use a glove for a fresh because he was a 240 pound, 16 year old fat slob. Joe got both messages. I didn't get one single by my manager. Ling Club when I graduated from St. Francis with every member. member. That got me thinking I love baseball too much and I was giving me ignore because I was too far that I was gonna be something about it. He did she shut three pounds with a sign by the praise all he looked the president club John McHale thought he was looked rather like a boy bartender, but the boy bartender was here to say. He played 17 summers for the Braves in Walking Atlanta and the St. Louis Colonels and the Mets and he got in nine all-star games. He was voted the most valuable player. And that's like hitting 363 and 91 in the main. Career batter average of 29 when the Mets made him manager this week. He's. In Montreal, the National Hockey League Board of Governors was agreeing on the final segment of the convention today and attempt to find a position to continue troubles at the Cleveland Barons before going on the possible merger World Hockey Association. And that's it for sports. Okay? A quick editorial. It's up to your vote to have the rights for gays in the gay community because everybody is equal and everybody is one person. Ask me about Ralph Renner report on this Tuesday, June 7, 1937. I'm Ralph Renner. Have a good day and come next on Channel 4 will be the CBS Evening News, Walt Cronkite. WTVJ News will be back to the world tonight at 11 o'clock. Have a good evening.